Ransom is like ransomware, but we can hack it. Greater than three criteria are present, it indicates severe pancreatitis. So, first important thing is how these three is remembered. So, if you consider ransom criteria after 48 hours, means on third day. So, third day, so it's severe pancreatitis. Second thing, confused between AST or ALT, which enzyme is included in ransom criteria? So, it's for severity. So, S, then AST. Second thing, what are the markers that included in ransom? For that, I make a mnemonic according to its good or bad prognosis. Third thing, numbers. I can remember by making it sequentially, from lower to higher. For non gallstone pancreatitis, it's easy. But for gallstone pancreatitis, it's not easy to remember those numbers. So, I add some numbers in sequence of non gallstone pancreatitis. Because we add gallstone in that pancreatitis. Simple logic. So, that added numbers you can easily remember in sequence. I guess so. So, at presentation, mnemonic for nascent criteria is good low for severity. A for age, G for glucose, L for LDH, A for AST, and W for WBC. All numbers are greater than that included. All numbers are greater than that included in this table. So, for age, uh, greater than 55 glucose greater than 200 uh, LDH greater than 350 AST greater than 250 and WBC greater than 16,000 it is for non gastron pancreatitis so how can we remember for gastron pancreatitis by adding numbers in that of non gastron pancreatitis so 55 plus 15 is equal to 70 200 plus 20 220 350 plus 50 is equal to 400 250 plus 0 is equal to 250 16,000 plus 2,000 is equal to 18,000 After 48 hours of presentation Mnemonic for that Best biomarkers for calculating high possibility of severity Best B for base deficit Bio for uh, burn biofuel So burn uh, For means fluid requirement calculating for calcium high means hematocrit possibility means PaO2 uh, first three criteria uh, numbers are greater than and for last three criteria are numbers are less than that included in this table so for non gallstone pancreatitis uh, base deficit is less, greater than 4 uh, burn greater than 5, fluid requirement greater than 6, uh, calcium less than 8, hematocrit less than 10, and PO2 less than 60. So, uh, how can we remember for gastron pancreatitis? Uh, so, for in case of a base deficit, uh, we uh, add 1 in 4. So, 4 plus 1 is 4. Uh, for other criteria, uh, we subtract. Uh, so for burn, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Uh, fruit requirement, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Uh, for calcium, hematocrit and PO2, same as in case of uh, non gastron pancreatitis. Bicep score, bedside index for severity in acute pancreatitis, which predicts mortality. Bicep, a mnemonic for that. Uh, B for burn greater than 25, I for implementation status, GCS less than 15, uh, S for SIRS systemic inflammatory response syndrome, uh, A for age greater than 60 and P for pleural effusion. HAB score, harmless acute pancreatitis score, uh, mnemonic for that HABS itself, uh, H for hematocrit, uh, A for abdominal rebound tenderness and S for serum creatinine serum creatinine and hematocrit are normal and there is no abdominal rebound tenderness thank you for watching